Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. And tonight, it'll be the San Antonio Spurs going up against the Chicago Bulls. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. And coming into this matchup tonight, GA, the second consecutive game between these two teams. And I'll be interested if we see a similar type of game compared to the first one. Or if this one will be completely different. You just never know what's going to happen on any given night. Now here's Rose. Back to Noah. The shot misses. And so it's Parker with it. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. A floater. Noah with the block. And they get it back. Duncan with the bucket. Now here's Rhodes. Over in the corner, Dudley. Back to Rose. Noah with a screen on Parker. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. And Jumping finished Noah. off by Noah. And just throw it up high and let Noah go up and find it with that length. We're about one minute into the first. Ginobili looking around. Here's Parker. Softly drops in the floater. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Goes up on top. Covered by Parker. Here's Dudley. Oh, and that one. No question. Powered it down. Knows how to run a team, guys, and facilitate accordingly. Rose makes those around him better. Spurs have gone two or three here to start out the game. Parker with it. Boozer picks him up. Duncan, the best to split it. Rebound by Rose. And Rose throws it down hard. Tell you what, Rose can get flashy with the best of them. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Duncan with his screen on Rose. Knocks it loose. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Dudley finds Rose. To the inside. Boozer. And the dunk by Boozer. Yes, Well, he's experienced at running screen and Rose, isn't he, guys? I mean, Rose is a pro at picking the defensive part in pick and roll situations. Ginobili outside. Uses the glass to finish the lane. And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. Not there. Now, here's Tucker. What a tremendous game he played against Houston. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and polish. Rose against Parker. Parker double team. On the top of the key, score the basket, his second of two attempts. From extraordinary work from Parker to find his teammate for the open basket. His passing is just phenomenal. The kick out to Boozer. Passes to Tucker. Back to Boozer. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Here's Dudley. And he hammers that one down. Right in the face of Splitter. We all know how Rose can score the ball, but sometimes I think we dismiss how good of a passer he is. And it's Parker with the ball, bringing it up for the San Antonio Spurs. 
four-point game. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Well, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. And, you know, that's all about effort, and I'm sure their coach let them have it for the lack thereof. Rose against Parker. Noah with a screen on Parker. He lobs it up. Down low. And it's slammed in by Splitter. Really love the force on that dunk. Splitter showing some toughness down there. Don't want to get in his way. Rose passes to Boozer. And Tucker has it in the corner. Outside Boozer. And here is Dudley. Boy, that win against the Rockets. He's another guy who really showed up to play. Here's Tucker. And Chicago with another bucket. A defense focused on Boozer's scoring ability, and he found an outlet with a great look there. So it's San Antonio now. Trailing by two. Ginobili outside. Nailed from three-point land. Ginobili's got five. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. The pass to Tucker. Noah with a screen on Ginobili. Here's Tucker. Rebound by Parker. For Chicago, they won their last contest that game against the Rockets. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. They found their rhythm and kept piling it on. And a huge boost of confidence on the road, for sure. And here's Rose. Mano Ginobili getting his three to go. Rose dishes to Tucker. Stolen by Ginobili. Knocked away. Pass to Noah. Finished off the break. Oh, how about the aggressiveness from Noah inside, not allowing himself to be stopped. And now the first time out call here for the Spurs. And now your Spurs dance team. Garrett Temple has checked in for San Antonio. And Chicago also making a switch. Luol Dang has checked in for Boozer. Rose against Parker. To the paint. Here's Duncan. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. Tim Duncan First just an absolute foul. beast at the four. He lets his play do all of his talk. The Spurs shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. Yeah, last year, collectively, only 74% from the line. And that's a little better than they did last year from the free throw line. And it's Rose penetrating, and Rose throws it down. Rose excels at driving and controlling his body in the air. A unique blend of power and athleticism. Parker looking around. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And obviously the season's just begun, but never too soon to check out the power rankings. Let's see how these teams are stacking up. Take a look at the Spurs. They've achieved some upward momentum, climbing to the fifth spot on the board. And right now, Chicago, they've sure made a statement here early on, outpacing some teams that were expected to be better, owning that top spot and defending it with pride. Rose, no good. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Ginobili, the best of splitter. Noah with the block. A defensive stalwart. Noah's length is what allows him to erase shots. Tucker finds Rose. Driving the lead. Oh! Oh! oh let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. And guys, it's going to be a long time before we see another one just like that. So it's San Antonio now after the Bulls pick up two. Parker passes to Duncan. And it's good in the assist by Parker. Assist by Tony Parker. Parker's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. The Bulls trailing. Pass to Tucker. Drives to the hoop. 
Rebound San Antonio and going against Chicago their first meeting of the season and their series last year was a bit of a comparison between the two conferences both were in the middle of the pack. Well you said it I mean often it's the teams that are in the middle of the pack in their conference which more accurately show the conference's strength than a team at the top or the bottom at least that's how I like to look at it. What hustle on the offensive glass finding ways to capitalize paying off that hard work. Dudley dishes to Dang. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Dave, allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Oh, here's Parker. Feeds it to Temple. Lock at six. Duncan outside. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. It's Parker outside, and again, it's San Antonio with the three. And the shot clock was getting low there, but Parker did a fantastic job of getting off a good look at the basket, keeping calm, even in a tense moment. Dang can't get it to go. San Antonio leading by five. Duncan kicks to Parker, and the foul on Derek Rose. That's his first foul. Antonio McDice is checked in for San Antonio. Hill comes in for Tony Parkwood. Then for the Bulls. Gibson comes in for Joaquin Noah. And it's Watson in for Derrick Rose. Here's McDice. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. 1-12 left in the first quarter. Tucker the pass to Gibson. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Here's Dudley. And down it goes. Jamming that one home. Oh, he's putting on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Well, when you know it, you got a show. And Temple kicks to Hill. Duncan with the screen for Hill. But three hits the three-point bomb. And the Spurs lead by six. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Watson, the pass to Tucker. And Tucker slams it in. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for the Spurs. Nick Dykes. Nice D from Dan. Bulls trail by four. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Attacking and transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Ginobili misses. Dudley with it. Six points for him. Driving to the basket. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stop. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. Especially on the three-point attempt. I mean, you have to defend that shot without fouling. Now you give a guy three free throws. And he makes all three. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Gets it off. No good that time. And a high scoring first quarter. Both teams really filling it up. In San Antonio, they're up by three. Live from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, you're watching 2K Sports. If you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for San Antonio? You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And also have to bring up their passing game. They've been moving the ball with great precision so far and creating great looks for their teammates. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. Went to rise up and swap that one away. And Neal is cash money from the mid-range area. You can't let him feel at ease pulling up from there. Got to make him uncomfortable. Outside Dan. 
count it. Ten's got his second bucket of the night. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. San Antonio leading by three. Passes it to McDice. And the dunk by Duncan. And, you know, this team depends on Duncan offensively because they know how great a scorer he is. And here are the Bulls now. They can look forward to the American Airlines Center after this game. They'll match up against Dallas. A seven game road trip continues for them. That'll be game number three. Dang finds Gibson. And it's Gibson finishing it off. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Now here's Simmons. Hasn't made one yet. Really left alone that time. Hill's got the lead up to six now for the Spurs. And the D has gotten a little bit lax here defending the triple. Here's Dudley. That's good, and the assist goes to Watson. Watson's got three assists in the game. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Hill dishes to Temple. Simmons left side. And the pass to Duncan. Over Dang. Nice D from Dang. Now there's an example of good defense beating good offense. And he drives in. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? Well, that might be fair, but I wouldn't want to take away from what he did in that last game. I mean, let's just say it's a pretty nice run he's on, no matter how you decide to frame it up. Gibson with the steal. Pass break. Here comes Chicago. Corver gets a wide-open look and trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Outside Hill. Floats one, and it's blocked by Dang. Now here's Dudley. Started closer. He's off on that one. San Antonio's gone a terrific five of six from beyond the arc in this game. Here's Temple. The shot comes out. Nice D from Dang. Bulls have gone four of six from the field here in the second. Corver finds Dang. Back to Corver. Dudley against Hill. Here's Gibson. Oh! Yes, and he takes that one up and powers it through. Impressive agility in these pick and roll sets. It's hard to get out of that screen really quickly. Gibson has a nice feel for where to roll to. San Antonio calls timeout. Jefferson comes in for Garrett Temple. And Ginobili subbed in for Simmons. Carlos Boozer's checked in for the Bulls. Big Dog comes in for Kyle Corbin. Ginobili outside. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Ginobili's got 13 points. 
Craig, a record 84 international players on the league's opening day roster. It's amazing. The game keeps growing. And it's great for the sport, right? For every country represented, that's more potential fans able to follow and root on their countrymen doing big things in the NBA. Here's Ginobili. The Bulls getting the button. Shoots from 12. And another basket for San Antonio. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Pass to Tucker on the wing dang. Here's Boozer. Paddles through traffic and lays it in. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. Here's Ginobili after Carlos Boozer's score. Eight feet away. The dice. Good. Ginobili, such a solid pass. He seems to know whenever one of his guys is wide open and gets him the ball. And it's Watson with the ball for Chicago. Trailing by two. They set the pick. And Tucker kicks to Boozer. There's the dish to Watson. Out to the right wing. Six on the shot clock. Dang gets a wide open look. Trains the three-pointer. Dang's got his third bucket of the night. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. And here is Hill. After the three moments ago for Lou all day. Here's Duncan. And the Spurs scoring again. Excellent poise from Duncan right there. I mean, he's got defenders all over him, but he doesn't let that bother him or his shot at all. Outside Boozer. Here is Dublin. He's got 12. And an out of this world reverse jam. Woo. Now here is Hill. Pass to Duncan. Shot from the low block. It's not going to go for him. Excellent defense there from Boozer. Watson, the pass to Tucker. Stolen by Ginobili. And it's Big Dog with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Picking up his second foul here. Has to be careful because they can pile up quickly. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. He's checked in for Duncan. And Tony Parker subbed in for George Hill. Then for the Bulls, Taj Gibson's checked in for Dang. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for C.J. Watson. Here's Ginobili. He trains the quick shot. Ginobili's got six here in this quarter. And this is how assertive Ginobili is. Outstanding with the catch and shoot. Boozer passes to Gibson. Sinks that one from the post. Gibson. And the Bulls lead by one. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. 
It's stolen by Rose. And here's the fast break. Rose leading the way. Oh, and the jam by Rose. Boy, he's an absolute blur. Derrick Rose, cat-like quickness. The Spurs have gone 8 of 13 in the second quarter, well above the 50% mark from the field. Parker against Rose. Here's McDice. And it's good on the assist by Parker. Parker's got assist number five here tonight. Boy, that was a thing of beauty by Parker. Passes it to Dub. Side boozer. Private. Oh, what a play! Oh, Woo! <laughs> Some showmanship from Boozer really making that one hurt. Spurs trail by three. And there's the pass to McDyke. In the corner, it's Ginobili. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. And that gets him going here in the second after hitting two from long range in that first. Chicago has gone one or two on three corners here in the second quarter. So outside Boozer. Out to the wing. Now Dudley. 14 points for him. Gibson setting a pick for Dudley. Just five to shoot. Oh, Gibson. <laughs> Like the fact that Gibson did not settle for the layup there. He took it hard and threw it down. Ginobili dishes to Parker. Has to bomb. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Ginobili outside. This one for three. That shot is off. And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. I, I think you're right. I mean, an Derek up fake here or there, getting the ball inside, that's how you create high percentage offense. Parker against Rose. Parker outside. Here's McDice. Stolen by Tucker. Fast break, Chicago. Here's Dudley. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You mean the throw down at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. What a pass by the fearless Manu Ginobili. Great team. Rose goes in from past the arc, and the Bulls another three. Three. You know what? You can see the confidence Rose has in being able to just catch and shoot it and get it up quickly. Now here's Janoke. 24 point outing in their last game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. And it was not a one man show. That was the best part. He had just as good a game with his passing as he did with his scoring. Bulls leading by five. Pass to Dudley, right wing. Here's Tucker, and Tucker slams it in. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Now here's Parker. 26 points for him last game against Oklahoma City. Bonner no good. And here's Tucker. Outside Gibson. Puts up a deep three. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Chicago. Heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. And don't go away. We'll be right back. happy you could join us we've got two quarters left to go in regulation it's been one outstanding game from Mono Ginobili he's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with within the first few quarters and you know what it helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter too 
We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. And it's Barker with the ball, bringing it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Seven-point differential. Ginobili outside. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Parker's got six assists in the game. Very reliable. Ginobili solid from deep. Now here's Rose. And the dunk by Rose. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Here is Dudley following the score by Tony Parker. The kick out to Boozer. Splitter against Noah. Here's Boozer. Basket counts. Carlos Boozer. Boozer's got eight points. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. And that one's good. Parker. Oh, that, that's just too easy for Parker there. He, he loves getting those opportunities. Rose kicks to Dudley. Here's Tucker. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Ginobili. Bulls shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. In the season ago, they hit about 75% of their free throws. And guys, they've taken a huge step forward at the free throw line this season. Especially when you compare it to last season. They're a completely different team in that area. All three throws, good from Tucker. 90 seconds now into the second half. Parker against Rose. Parker kicks to Splitter. Pass to Ginobili. Jefferson with it. Shot clock at six. Splitter sets a screen for Jefferson. Noah with the block. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. They're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big-time defense. Rose scanning the floor. Noah with a screen on Parker. Tucker the pass to Boozer. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Here's Dudley. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. He's got 18. So far, so good to begin this half. They're three for three. Perfect. And the foul on Derrick Rose. Derek Rose. That's foul number two for him. Personal foul. First team foul. Here's Jefferson. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Here's Splitter and Boozer with the block. And some aggressive defense from Boozer just attacking that shot. Dudley finds Tucker. Over Ginobili. Another one falls for Chicago. That would be four in a row for him now as they have come racing out of the gate to start this second half. Duncan with the screen on Rose. Releases from 15. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And a chance now to look at the schedule for Chicago. On Friday, they continue the road trip heading out to Dallas to take on the Mavericks. Then on Tuesday, they'll be playing the Lakers in Los Angeles. And guys, one thing about road trips like this one, they'll be seeing this as a chance for the teams to come together. It might be a bit of a silver lining for a trip that doesn't always provide a lot of success. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And at the line last year, he was good on about 77% of his attempts. And I'll tell you guys, I mean, to see the improvement he's made in his free throw shooting in the space of just one season, I think it's been remarkable. Now here's Parker. 11 points in the game. Splitter sets a screen for Parker. 
He feeds it to Splitter. Tucker trying to free himself up. That is good. And the Bulls lead is up to just nine points on the basket from Splitter. It's just excellent use of the pick and roll by Parker. A Tasmanian devil whose speed and decision making causes so many problems for the defense. Dudley's shot is good. Haven't missed a shot since the break. Really good job making adjustments. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Parker with it. And Rose picks him up defensively. It's Ginobili on the wing. And it's Big Dog with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one step late that time. The pass to Splitter. Parker outside. Shot clock at five. Kicks to Splitter. Fires at the elbow. Rebound by Carlos Boozer. Boozer's got four rebounds now tonight. Outside Rose. Pulls from the top of the key. San Antonio with the rebound. They'll be off next to Utah for a meeting with the Jams. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Back to Duncan. Ginobili outside. 14 feet away. Field goal number nine. He's nine of 12 with that basket. Yeah, a lefty and, and kind of a tweener position-wise. Just a funky matchup. Ginobili has these big nights, and there's just not much you can do to stop him. Now here's Boozer. Eight points for him. Rose kicks to Boozer. Pass to Tucker. And Tucker slams it in. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go, baby. It is showtime. And why not? A little salt in the wound. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys reeling and on the ropes. And the Spurs with possession after the Bulls pick up two. Jefferson against Dudley. Now here's Ginobili. T right on him. It's hauled in by Noah. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And, guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And the basket by Rose. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. San Antonio timeout. calls timeout. Got to like what Derrick Rose has done in this game. And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. And the Spurs making a change here. Temple's checked in. The Raw Dang is checked in for Chicago. Duncan and the dunk by Duncan. Solid job positioning and really good intensity and focus from Duncan that time to get to that second shot opportunity. Pass to Tucker. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Oh, that's an old fashioned rim rack. Uh, just a remarkable gem. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Platinum level highlight reel material. That is showtime stuff there. Here's Ginobili. The Bulls getting the bucket. That one finds the mark. It's the 10th time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. Tucker with the ball. He's got 18, and he comes up with the deuce. Tucker's got 10 points here in the second half. Boy, that's a winning basketball play right there. Hustle hard. Although they're down big right now, Greg, still plenty of time left in this one. At this point, they got to take it one possession at a time. It's Ginobili on the wing. This is 
it to split it. Six on the shot clock. Back to Ginobili. Nine feet out. Derek Rose grabs the miss. Chicago leading by 15. And Tucker has it in the corner. Bulls moving the ball around. And the pass to Noah. Dudley with it. Dang with the screen for Dudley. Dang kicks it to Tucker. And the Bulls, another three. Well, he's really been on a roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding bottom. For San Antonio, they've gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. Has to split it. Back to Parker. Unable to get that one. Great defense that time from Noah. Well, Chicago has gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. Three-pointer buries the long-range jumper. And it's now 26 points for Big Dog. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. Ginobili dishes to split it. Stolen by Tucker. Two on none. No one back to stop this. The feed to Noah. The kick out to Dang. Parker against Rose. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Parker. When Rose is attacking, guys, I mean, the defense has to act. He puts them on their heels. A different look now for San Antonio. Antonio McDice is checked in for splitter. Simmons comes in for Ginobili. And it's Hill in for Parker. Taj Gibson's time checked out, in for Chicago. Time, time called here. The Spurs Parker. decide to talk it over. for Duncan coming off a terrific season and a great touch around the rim top 15 in field goal percentage he was a top 10 rebounder last season for good reason he's an incredibly intense guy to compete with and uh, and, and for a full game too I mean just non-stop now here is Hill he's got eight it's stolen by Rose a finish and Rose throws it down hard I mean, look at Rose pushing it up the court full speed, not giving anyone a chance to catch it. He lobs up the alley -oop pass, takes the alley -oop pass, and dunks it down. And he pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley -oop. And the crowd got their jaws dropped on that one. Total disbelief. On the wing, Dang. Back to Tucker. Count that bucket. Tucker's got 28 points for the game. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Pass to Duncan. Outside, Simmons. Now, here is Hill. They need this one. It's deflected, and it's out of bounds. The Spurs is able to retain possession here. Richard Jefferson is checked in for Bobby Simmons. And a change for the Bulls. Boozer's checked in. 35 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. And it's out of bounds. They say last touch by Dang. Thirty-four seconds left in the third quarter. Jefferson's shot is off. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Tucker. Here's Rose. Now here's Tucker. Defense right on him. Inside. This is the Dang. And Dudley kicks to Rose. Over Hill. Oh, and he just knocked him up. Hunter Peter. Yeah, now they are firing on all cylinders. That shot puts three more onto their lead as we head to the fourth. What a performance for Derrick Rose. He has been the story for Chicago. Up. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. 
And it's Watson with the ball for Chicago. Passes to Tucker. Gibson the screen. And Tucker slams it in. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And so it's San Antonio with it after the Bulls pick up two. Really like the presence of mind from Hill, preparing himself to shoot prior to the pass getting to him. Outside Dan. Now the pass to Watson. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. He dishes it to Gibson. And Bonner pulls it down. The Spurs shooting a smooth 58% from the field. Everything going according to plan for them on that end. And Tucker slams it in. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Modern shot, good. You know, that's what you want out of your point guard. Hill is really doing a nice job getting the ball from side to side and not hesitating at all in doing it. Thomas finds Tucker. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Here's Thomas. A rebound by the Spurs. And Jefferson, here we go. Rebounded by Tucker. Chicago's gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. And Gibson now, top the key. Great look, but off the mark. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there. And neither can he. McDyess kicks to Jefferson. Here's Ginobili. The teardrop falls in. Ginobili's got nine points now in just the second half. That shot is a staple in Ginobili's game. I mean, he's got excellent touch on those little floaters. Now, here's Tucker. He's covered by Ginobili. And it goes down two points. 34 points for Big Dog. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. they got to tighten it up. Now here's Jefferson. Ginobili outside. The three-pointer no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Pass to Gibson. Looking for Dang. He gets it there. Over Jefferson. Good on the seven-footer. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. It's stolen by Dang. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Well, so often we see this transition buckets off turnovers. And we know turnovers are painful and costly. You get loose with the ball on one end and get punished on the other end. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's one actually bang. sizing up, Three points. shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Hill passes to Bonner. Hill dishes to Bonner. It's back to Hill. Over Watson. It's good. That basket, he's now five for nine. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. Now, here's Tucker. He's covered by Ginobili. It's a nice shot by Tucker. And when it rains, it pours. Another jump shot tickles the twine. Ginobili outside, and here's Hill for three. That shot's good on the assist by Ginobili. Ginobili's got six assists here tonight. Bulls have gone seven of ten shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Now, here's Tucker. He's covered closely. And this offense is in a perfect 
rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Pass to Hill. Here is Bonner. He's guarded by Thomas. 14 feet away. And Luol Dang pulls it down. Dang's got his fourth rebound in this one. Takes a three. Rebound San Antonio. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. It's Ginobili on the wing. Guarded by Tucker. And Hill, the bucket on the assist by Ginobili. Hill's got 10 points in just the second half. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Passes it to Watson. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Tucker can't get it to go. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Oh, no, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. The dice. Good. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Chicago's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. The pass to Tucker. Good. Nice job down low. Tucker's got 40 points. Oh, it's scary because he's just been a matchup nightmare in this game. He's eaten up anybody they've thrown at him. The three from Hill. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Tang's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And Hill over to help. And Watson has it in the corner. And Tucker kicks to Watson. Off target from the wing. For San Antonio, they've gone 8 of 13 for the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. Nick Dice passes to Jefferson. Here is Bonner. Ginobili outside. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's Mono Ginobili with the finish. Nice move by Ginobili inside, making his way around the contact, throwing the foul and getting the hoop. To the wing right side. And Tucker slams it in. Man, he's got a lot of firepower right now. I mean, what a half he's having. And so he'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Ginobili outside. Pass to Hill. Here's the three. And it's Dang with the rebound. And Chicago shooting an almost unfair 78% from the field. Tucker. And Tucker slams it in. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. Here's McDice after the Bulls pick up two. You can't afford to let McDice get comfortable from the mid-range now. He likes that area. Watson finds Thomas. Now Watson to the wing on the left. Left side, Gibson. Here's Tucker. And Tucker slams it in. Wow. We are going to remember that one well, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. The circus dunk for you right there, guys. Here's McDice. And Ginobili wide open. He shoots. Oh, and another basket for San Antonio. Had their fingerprints all over this matchup tonight. Just an impressive victory for the Bulls. And as one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And so they win their first game against this squad. 
It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. When it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Big Dog. Boy, he was absolutely relentless at the offensive end, guys. Smelled blood. Oh, and there he puts oh, it down. Man, oh, what a throw. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. You know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Kicks it out to Gibson. Back to Tucker. From deep three-point land. A shot that time, not on target. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shine. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching.